I'm really excited for this next team to come up, Phoenix Force. Uh, we filmed a video earlier of showing their uh, airplane launchers, some of the prototypes they're looking at doing for that. So if you are interested in how the drones, how the airplanes work, you need to tune in for this because they had a lot of cool stuff to show. But a lot of other things as well too coming from Phoenix Force. So why don't you introduce yourselves? Let us know you've been working on. A lot of cool stuff here coming from 10100. I'm Jay from Phoenix Force, and I definitely want one of my teammates to introduce their uh, airplane launcher. It's definitely, I think, one of I've seen uh, in our, my robotics career. Uh, we we've hooked it up with the Go Build uh, element receiver and the RC control system uh, because we're trying to iterate fast and quick. And we don't really feel like coding and doing all that at this moment. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. We came up with this idea of the airplane launcher. We had a paper prototype earlier. We had a couple. Um, so after we did some research, I transferred it into metal so we could attach it to our robot. So here there is a rubber band that is connected to these button head screws that creates tension and goes back to this servo motor. And here we can control it manually. Should I demonstrate it? Oh yeah, we can demonstrate it. Um, this is one of the airplanes we might use. We're not sure about yeah. what airplane we will use so far. Um, here we can. Well, we're st it's still one second. In one second. Right. Retry. Retry. Ret ret So, um, it's about 90 this way, then get a shot of that, and then it's actually going to test it. Okay, right. yeah. Hopefully, uh, we're not going to cancel. Just super ball. Right, no, other one, other one. What happened there? We so we just recently mounted it here. Um, it's still a work in progress, but hopefully tomorrow when you guys watch the matches, it will go far enough to hit landing zone one and get us thirty points. That's our ultimate goal. Um, Actually, um, the funny thing is, before we mounted it, we did a lot of testing uh, in an open room. And we actually had to use uh, worse paper airplanes because it was launching so far. This was the first actual robot. I'm sure we can clear it up in uh, about 10, 15 minutes and get it launching farther again. It's just the, the rubber band tension's a little off. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it up when we get back. But we can talk about other parts of our robot in the meantime. We did a test here earlier with just the airplane launcher with like me holding it here. And it went so far. It went past landing zone one if there weren't like things there. So then we had to make airplanes that were so bad at being paper airplanes that they wouldn't go super far. So we've just been trying to find that like gray area between super bad and super good. We can talk about some of the other subsystems on our robot, uh, some of them that are not attached. Uh, my sister can talk about uh, something cool that she made. Uh, hi, my name is Dia, and um, I designed this. We call it um, uh, the shuffleboard because it kind of shuffles the um, pixels across the field. So the goal of this is to get all of the game elements of the pickle, p the pixels from that side to over and scoring into backstage, so we can then score them onto um, the backdrop. Um, so we use six thousand RPM motors, and we cut off like the edges of our wheels to make it work better, and it goes pretty fast. Should we demonstrate? We can demonstrate. Uh, the main reason you want to do this is for uh, strategical purposes. So kind of like a like a feeder robot. Uh, if we had a robot that was really good at stacking, we could have uh, a feeder robot uh, send pixels over to score and maybe generate a new high score tomorrow. Uh, if we want to demonstrate, we can hook it up to the element receiver, and uh, my other teammate can talk about uh, her claw.
Hi, my name is Radhika, and I made the stripper off for holding a pixel. So it's a pretty simple design, two servos, and there are wheels attached to them. So in theory, it goes like this, and grabs the pixel so I can get picked up. How did you, when you're looking at all the different concepts that you have, how did you come up with like multiple different options? And do you have one in terms of your words? Why is it versus the other? Um, I we have a lot of different versions of a lot of the different mechanism mechanisms we're using. Um, like we have a plane launcher that's still at our workplace. It's all a work in progress right now, but tomorrow our ultimate goal is to create a new high score. And with all our different prototypes and different ideas from all of our team members, coaches, and mentors, um, we hope we can achieve that. Well, while you get that up and running, I know we got a bunch of questions from chat. Let's get a couple of those and we'll give you an opportunity to get that going. All right. Robotics is worried that your angle slides are not the same angle as the backdrop. Do you see an issue with the pixels being put onto the backdrop because they're a different angle? Um, so actually we have an additional design to our gripper that we are currently working on, so that's why we did not bring it out. But um so the uh, so last year we had a robot that kind of had a function that moves like similar to our wrists, and that's what we're trying to replicate here as well. So we're going to have um, something that can actually shift at the angle of the gripper there, so we um, reach the height limit. But um, we have uh, something we're working on. That Talking more about that, um, the way that. the way our lift uh, works is we're kind of going with more of like a conveyor belt type of system. So our slides are going to extend out. And this uh, conveyor belt, we're able to deposit the pixels uh, high enough, and they slide down, so they don't have to be exactly the same angle um, as the scoring board. As long as it uh, reaches the board at a reasonable rate, it will fall down uh, onto the stack. There's a question from Electro, which is, does it fit under the truss? Uh, yes, it does uh, fit under the truss, not under the uh, the, the center stage. But um, it is under 14 inches, but if the 13-14 uh, variance is a little bit longer, then we would have to uh, adjust for that. But uh, the way we designed it is it does fit, fit under there. Um, are you good to go on the uh, mechanism there? Yeah, we can right, try. Yeah, let's take a look at that, and then we'll grab a couple more questions after. I know we're not going to get all of them chat, but we'll I'll try to make I'll sure they it. answer uh, offline for you, too. I got it. Shoot. I'll try to get this one. It goes very fast normally. <laughs> Maybe, uh, A lot of our subsystems, a lot of our subsystems, uh, are not working on the actual field. Which is something that we will ignite. <laughs> but yeah, they were, they were they're designed very well, and they all were working. Yeah, lots of work, and I'm sure you guys will uh, will get it going as well too. Uh, let's grab a couple more questions from chat before we wrap up uh, with uh, Phoenix Force. There's a question from Matt Brecken, which is, have you had consistency with these super bad airplanes? Um, so with the, the super bad airplanes, they either, in our hypothetical field back in where it either doesn't go past the field wall or, or it, it goes in landing zone one. And it's more of something where we're just trying to find, again, that gray area, that like Goldilocks zone of, we don't want it to go too far and we don't want it to go to, like, we don't want it to just end up right in front of our robot. So it's not very consistent, but again, we will be working on that tonight. And tomorrow morning, you'll probably see a lot of, a lot of improvement. All right, we're gonna grab one more question uh, from chat. And then of course, any of the other ones, uh, we'll see if somebody from uh, Phoenix Force can help crack in, uh, answer those in chat afterwards. Uh So we are working on a hanging mechanism. Uh, my other teammates can talk. So the hanging mechanism plan is still in the earlier stages, but we basically 
want to um, put two, one on each side, and then we're going to um, go up vertically and then get close to the the rigging <laughs> and we'll just um, compact it a little bit and it'll hoist itself from there. All right, well, Phoenix Force, uh, lots to still uh, go here. We, we got a lot of questions, so we're going to ask that uh, one or two of your team members help out uh, answering chat afterwards as well, too. So we get those. Uh, just like we asked all the other teams, what's what's the number one or number two thing you want to get done tonight before you head out? Um, I think uh, everything. We just want to get everything working as best as possible. We have a lot of team members and a lot of things to get done, so we're just going to uh, – get all the mechanical stuff done tonight and then tomorrow morning hopefully we can wake up and uh get get coding because because all of us do everything so it's not like we have a coding team mechanical team we all work together and we're just gonna get it done well love your passion with that anything else that you want to cover for tonight no i think jay covered it all we're just trying to get everything improved and everything done tonight so then tomorrow we can all work together and get it all coded and get a new high score in the matches all right well, let's get phoenix first big round of applause for an awesome night love their mechanisms that they have this video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors at Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.